The Wiregrass baseball team just two wins away from bringing home another state championship. WDHN Sports Director Tyler White is live at Chocoloco Park in Oxford with more. Tyler. Hey, thank you, Michael. Tyler White here live at Chocolaga Park in Oxford. Hey, thank you, Michael. Tyler White here live at Chocolaga Park in Oxford, Alabama as the Aaron to Purple Cats are facing Mars Hill Bible in the 2A state championship series. They're looking to go back to back. The Purple Cats taking a while to get going in this one today. Mars Hill Bible would jump out to a 4 to nothing lead on the back of some strong hitting, as you can see right here. But the Purple Cats will finally get going in the bottom of the third as Easton Kilpatrick gets a hold of this one. And this kid with a pool noodle says this is his time to shine. But no, let's get back to Kilpatrick. That ball burns the outfielder as he rounds the bases and slides in for a triple. Next batter up, it's Addison Sin going back at the left fielder, and he gets this one to drop, scoring Kilpatrick with a stand-up double. Purple Cats on the board. But Martell looking to extend their lead. Ayrton's third baseman gets eight up by a high hopper. That ball gets to the outfield, scoring two more for the Panthers. But this is a back-and-forth contest, and now Avon Cook cooks this one through the gap, scoring a Purple Cat runner. A couple batters later, Dalton Murphy drives this one out to Shiloh Center, scoring another Ayrton runner. That cuts the lead to two. Bases loaded for the Purple Cats with a three-run deficit now in the sixth, but a nasty curveball draws a third strike call. We'll take another look at that one in slow motion. And that's all she wrote for the Purple Cats today. They drop game one, seven to four. We dug ourselves a hole the first two innings. It's hard to play from behind, multiple runs behind. Uh, kind of gets you out of your game plan. Uh, I was proud of our kids, the way we competed and battled. We scratched, we, we didn't give in. We had multiple chances to cut it to one, to two runs, to one run, but we just couldn't do it. Um, hats off to them. Uh, their pitcher did a really good job. They swung the bats well. Uh, we had trouble keeping the leadoff runner off base. When you keep the leadoff runner, when the leadoff gets on, high school baseball, 90%, they're going to score. So um, that's kind of was our Achilles heel today. Um, you know, we just got to come back tomorrow. Uh, it's a new day. And, uh, you know, take it one, one inning at a time, one play at a time, and, and work to do uh, the things that we do. No nerves. We've been in this situation before, so we got a good game plan. Be ready to go. The Purple Cats take the field again tomorrow at 10 a.m. at Jacksonville State University, where the Purple Cats will be looking to force game three and ultimately repeat as the 2A state title champions. All